Hello, welcome everyone. This session is for giving you a new topic. The name of the topic is memory and forgetting. Memory and forgetting. What we learnt are stored in our brain. This process is technically called memory. In other words, talking information in our brain is known as memory. But after learning, we remember only selected things alone. The remaining items are faded in our memory. This fading of information is called, technically called, forgetting. The fading of information in our memory is technically called forgetting. So remember, what we learned are stored in our brain, that particular process is technically called memory, but we remember only selective, selective things, only selective things. The remaining items are faded in our memory. This fading of information is technically called forgetting. In other words, failure to recall the learned items, failure to recall the learned items is known as forgetting. Ability to remember, ability to remember information already learned is memory. Ability to remember information already learned is memory. The term memory has been defined differently by different psychologists. According to J.P. Guilford, American psychologist, J.P. Guilford, American psychologist, the term memory means retention, retention or storage of information, storage of information in any form is memory. So according to J.P. Gilford, so he defined the concept of memory, retention or storage of information in any form is known as memory. Memory has got three phases. The process of memory has got three phases. They are encoding, the first one, encoding, the second one, storage, storage, then retrieval. Memory has got three important stages, three important phases. They are encoding, storage, the second one is storage and the third one is retrieval. The first stage encoding consists of placing information in our memory. Placing information in our memory is known as encoding. And this is the first stage. Placing of information in our brain is known as encoding. Then stocking of information is known as storage. Stocking of information in our brain is known as storage. The ability to reproduce the stored information is known as retrieval. Ability to reproduce the stored information in our memory is known as retrieval. So please start. Memory has got three phases that can be classified into encoding, storage and retrieval. The term encoding means placing information in our brain. 
Then the second word storage, that means stocking of information in our brain, in our memory system, stocking of information. Then retrieval means the ability to reproduce the stored item is known as retrieval. These are the three phases of memory. I would like to repeat. They are encoding, placing of information, then stocking of information, the ability to reproduce, that means reproduction of information. That concept of memory has been defined differently by different psychologists. They are, for example, uh, J.P. Gilford. A retention or storage of information in any form is known as memory.